Another awesome special episode where I brought along, you may have seen him if you're a fan of the Push the Point podcast during the Utrecht vlogging. This is Mark. Mark hello, is the hello. Mark is the reason why uh we missed the calling. <laughs> <laughs> is it square is it's not squarely your fault. It's it's it's, it's, a, it's a joint uh, effort. It's Teamwork makes the dream work. We're a well-oiled machine together, Hamish. Yeah. Um, if we, if we, if we, re- we, we definitely. Um, I will say that, despite the fact that both of us are very chilled, idiots. yeah, idiots. <laughs> <for one. laughs> we're we're very chill, um, but we kind of get over. Th- we got over it real quick. Like we just went, ah, oh well, let's get a beer. And that was, I, I can imagine a lot of other people that were in that boat would have just, I don't know. A real screamed. English attitude. 9.30 a.m., you just missed the calling. We'll get a pint, Yeah, mate. It'll be fine. Nothing like a full English breakfast. <laughs> Not only is he the man of missing callings, he's also the man that has created this amazing new website called Draft Fab. And it's basically from if well mark will tell you a bit more technically about it but in short just like talashar where you can play flesh and blood online draft fab is something that you can do with uh seven of yourself and seven people to draft flesh and blood through the for a website that is that is that a good summary Mark? yeah that's the goal yeah that's the mission purpose (laughs) so we've uh this was uh, something that you kicked off sometime last year. <laughs> Seeing as I just like renewed my domain subscription, it's been 13 months. It's been over a year since I started this project. Yeah. Um, so now we kicked it off for Nationals 2021. Um, because it had a mixed format component and it was literally the first time that most of the flesh and blood community in the UK were forced to draft uh, competitively. A lot of people just went, ah, drafting is an armory format. Bah, don't yeah. need to do that much. <laughs> that was that and was then, almost like me. It's like, yeah, who needs to draft, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, turns out it's a competitive format and practice is good. So, um, um, and at the time, we were playing with an international testing group and it's quite hard to draft as an international testing group. It's, um, it is pretty tricky, especially if they live in New Zealand and you, you live in England, you know, so it's a long, yeah. it's a long throw <laughs> for the 13 cards. Yeah. 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 Um, stop posting packs back and forth. <laughs> no. um, that could be a thing. That could be a thing where you could actually post the packs. It takes a month. But finally, yeah. you get it. How it takes a month for every pick. You only have to do forty-two picks. Imagine waiting a month and then you just go, "Oh, what?" This pack's <laughs> trash. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So it, 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 you, it was something that you whipped up. It was very, um, it was very, I don't know, raw bones back then, wasn't it? Like it was, it, it just it's, yeah. It was. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was. It was. It was a real. It was a real simple website without without much and we were just kind of clicking on things and creating a list and then creating that in in fab db and importing into table t- uh, tabletop and going from there so we got a little bit of drafting out of it um and it, i think it definitely helped everyone with their nets prep oh is it yeah 100 percent. like from zero drafting to using draft fab to get the, it was almost like it was just good to just get the vibe and the feel and is this working and and then once you got the deck and you played it it helps you just sort of learn is it was you know picking cards is one thing but is this good and blah 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 you know it was it it, it helped me no end as as a as a you know a user of of the website and then um yeah then kind of just it's been a one man band for you really hasn't it it's just been tink it's been a bit of a tinkering job yeah, it's a bit of a, a learner's I go kind of project. Like it's obviously flesh and blood is a hobby of mine, so there's a lot of um there's a vested interest mm-hmm. in, in on that side of things. Um f- 
professionally i'm not a web dev so it's kind of uh, a bit of like I'm, I'm i work in a adjacent field so learning all the web dev side of things is kind of interesting as a hobby kind of it's, it's good for me it's good professionally so i'm kind of just tinkering things and solving problems as i go um which is kind of why it's, it's taking me so long to slowly move things but um but we're getting there we're getting there we got we got something out there yeah it's so just i would like to stress and i would say it on mark's behalf is that this is still even though it hasn't got beta written on it i would oh, it's gonna have beta written on it's it. it's like gonna have days. beta written on it but <laughs> i'm gonna move over to the screen so this is what it looks like here right so draft fab you w you type in www.draftfab.com and it comes up to here it is a beta it is something that you got to roll with there will be a couple of bugs but it doesn't matter because this this website is so good i just don't think you're gonna you're definitely not gonna get anything that is as um consistent i suppose than than draft fab i mean i've used a couple and this one is just fantastic so you just basically jump in create a draft make a room you can keep it draft you got it this is, is this the sealed works yeah it should work pick any number of packs and, and you should be able to create a sealed deck as well yeah and then how many players do you want and then how many packs do you want to use you've also got the if you got yeah, you can choose different um uh, so tails and monarch i believe are set up i haven't got arcane rising or welcome to wraith uh set up properly so i should probably sort those out soon yeah um there's obviously uh one of the big things i'm trying to focus on is to make the packs as representative of a actual flesh and blood pack as possible and make the drafts as as representative as possible the idea here is is it is that this is a testing tool for competitive players um if it if it's not representative and people don't feel like they can use it for testing i think i've failed so so um so Reese Manor Works gone into trying to get the uprising packs as representative as possible. Uh, Monarch packs and Tails packs are, are pretty good as well. I haven't looked at the uh, the Welcome to Wraith or Arcane Rising distributions at all yet. Right, got you. So, if you, which which is fine to be fair, because a lot of people are going to be slamming um, uprising testing, especially for draft uh, for worlds that's coming up. So this is a a lot of a lot of time and effort has especially been pumped into uh, uprising ever since that's been released so yeah you pick how many packs you want um i've never known any other way to uh, 12 packs sure but yeah yeah so the, the 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 engine i'm using was a open source engine that um that was written for magic card drafts and uh... it kind of was there to support um cubes and any kind of other weird drafting format that's i mean magic's been around for 30 years now um and although none of this is relevant right now for flesh and blood there's no there's not really anyone doing chaos drafts and and to be honest the the way this the game is designed doesn't really allow for that too much but i have had someone uh, i know someone in the community who's trying to set up uh working with flesh and blood cubes and having a look at that and i think there's there's a bit of traction there so we'll see where that goes in the future well yeah so this is a bit of a open um create a game thing but normally you can just it's set up just to go straight into uprising draft make make your game room make it public private and then create away you go and once you kick in you obviously just change your username to whatever it is you want and then if anyone else wanted to jump in then you know then you get up to your eight players and set up your uh, game presets if you want to fill the empty sleeps with bots. Um, the bots are... Um... They don't do anything. They just pick random cards. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> if you if you had that, it could be quite useful because sometimes, you know, you will get that one player in a draft set that pretty much might feel like a bot where you go, why are you picking up these random cards? Yeah. <laughs> it might actually probably, feel quite real. <laughs> probably good practice for a lot of people in, in Uprising. Yeah. People with swapping heroes to the right of them, to the left of them. <laughs> yeah, pack, pack six. Everyone's Some bots has taken all these Icelander cards for no good reason. So, yeah. yeah. And then uh, you can start the game up, and then all of a sudden, all these cards just appear. And then as it gives you... Uh, it, it's following the same 
rule structure is the tournament setting where there's a timer and then the timer decreases as the um as we get further into the picks right yeah so it follows the um the lss timing guide so um can't remember what they are exactly it's like 50 50 50 45 45 something like that sure. so um yeah uh, i would say uh comment now because i know people will do it uh pack one pick one you know if you throw it i know uh, someone's gonna be saying yeah i mean i hands down it's almost definitely the lava burst okay but the you... dracona optimi the the flame wave cold uh, snap as well it's, it's not it's not cold bad. snap's pretty good yeah, so this is what um, you do. You click on the card that you want, and if as the timer runs down, as you saw, if you don't pick the the card that you want to pick, the the website will just randomly just pick one for you. So you should always just go and hover over and pick the card you want. And obviously, if you know what you really want, you can click confirm selection or double click it. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. So obviously, we just picked a lava burst. So we'll pick a Sasha Sandakai, and then whoa, look at this soaring strike, blaze headlong. So this is this is where the fun really kicks in. Obviously, you have to set this up on a Discord channel. I recommend we, we recommend just jumping on, jumping on Discord to date people and slam draft through this. Yeah, this is this has very much been a a, a tool that we've been using with mates. Um, yeah. So you can set up a draft and and, and talk on Discord and then organize the games afterwards. Um, we we have traditionally been playing the games in in tts but i will but we've recently um been have been chatting to the telashar devs and we've got an integration going there so which yeah. is very cool but um yeah is that so, is that is that up is that up and running now or is it something where you should be able to go through this draft and we can find out yeah let's, let's make it as we go yeah cool so as you can probably um, tell we're just uh i'm just slamming it, through any of blaze. another blaze headlong okay cool blaze headlong oh heat wave sure so since uh, uh while you, while you're here do you want to just scroll down yeah. um so... ah brill yes i forgot about that so as you're picking your cards here it's the it's it's organizing everything from equipment over to the attacks and even pitch costs and you can change what you want that to be so on um you can obviously hide your picks with by just clicking there's a little well my logo is covering that but there's a little uh uh bit on the bottom there that lets you be able to hide your picks so you can make it feel like you're actually in the tournament because you're not allowed to look at your cards and man i'll tell you what the the bots are not picking um <laughs> much ninja stuff uh I Oh, there's dude, like a, there's... It left soaring strike man how did that get away there's there's definitely a pipe dream where we start like analyzing people's picks and like creating bots that it could actually pick real decks but there is definitely so much work involved in setting something like that up which is it's not going to happen tomorrow no sure so obviously everything is not going to be paused now because but you can make a thing uh, during the setup where you can um, have a bit of time to uh, look at your selections and stuff and then you can even choose to sideboard certain cards as well or you know you've got the junk section which is the cards that are literally just the, your last couple of picks that you yeah, can if you hold shift if you hold shift and click on something it will go into the junk section ah smash it cool so yeah that's how that works hell yeah cool so yeah and that's basically in the nutshell we'll just fly through Oh look, brother! Dolphin flame wave, go for it. Oh, I don't know. The breaking point's pretty good. What was it? Yeah. Oh no. That's, that's, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just. You need. You need, a, you need some finishes. Oh. oh lava burst. All right, go on. We'll go over. Oh, another lava burst. All right, go on then. Yeah. Yeah. The classic. You, you must have take tempo on that pack. Really? I tell you what. I'm just. I'm just picking cards just to get through it. But this is mate. like. I feel like this is the least representational pack of cards there's so many lava bursts and plays here long it's like i'm, it's <laughs> like, I'm to... like forcing the engine to like create fire dicks <laughs> maybe you just need to get the the engine to just always pick um if you see a lava burst it auto takes it or a sasha yeah. sandakai it's just got to auto take that uh rise up go for it 
Oh, Phoenix form, go for it. All right, ice belt, whatever. All right, last load. So we're just going to speed, I'm just speeding through this. But as you can see, even just doing this now, I love it. I'm just like, I'm just having fun picking cards. Like, oh, all right, okay. Which one would you pick out of this? Obviously, definitely something that is way more fun when you're doing it with uh, a bunch of your mates. Oh, all right. What would you take out of this? Rapid Reflex, Soaring Strike, Dust uh, Rumble? Probably the Soaring Strike. Yeah? Um, I'll, I see. I want to take the Rapid Reflex because that win I've always feel like it wins you a game. The thing is, the Soaring Strike is is become like it's a pretty relevant on hit because if you've got a decent number of finishes in your in your fight deck, being able again. to do double finishes is, is pretty nuts. Um, and then there's a lot of stuff that just has like I don't know. I think I think Soaring Strike is is pretty good. It opens up a lot of cards. Man, Randerson, Claw, Scarf for a Scar, Brother in Arms. Ooh. Obviously, I don't think you'll get packs this great. Because obviously, the bots are just picking up randos. But, you know, even then, you never know. I actually still feel like I would see something like this yeah, in World. You'd be like, what the hell is everyone doing? You never know. All right, I'm just going to take... I'm just... It's... Oh, wait. You can tell. Oh, this is obviously just me. What well, you haven't realized, I think you've drafted two blues so far. Scroll down. Oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better take this then. Um, oh, oh, here comes the blues. They've heard me. Oh no! Blues. What the hell's this? I don't take the brother now. I don't know why. I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I'm commenting on a computer. There we go. So. We've completed the draft. So this is where you can sort of organize and look at everything that you've got. I've got 27 reds. I think, yeah, pretty crazy. Let's, let's click on the add tokens button. So, click, so you can click on add tokens and then a list of tokens will appear here. This is when you can click on it and it will start adding them to the deck. Yeah, so um, it just adds, adds the cards to your card pool. You can add add your Fi, add your Searing Ember Blade. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't. I, I, this is, this might change down the line, and you might have to pick your tokens. But at the moment, it just adds everything. So add, trying to get Phoenix Flames in the deck is a little bit annoying because you have to add all the tokens three times. Oh, but um, right, sure. So do you have to go back to add tokens again? Yeah. Uh okay. Well, this no, is not. This, yeah, not the cleanness, but we'll get there. Yeah. No, uh, well, it doesn't really matter once you. Know what to do. It's pretty straightforward. So you've created this up now. So how do you, so you've got this little bit here where you can join a game or create a room. So how does this work with importing this over to a game of Talashar um, with your other draft pod front? So the very so at the moment in terms of creating matches, um, the best approach is to be on Discord and actually just organizing it outside of this. The Draft Fab doesn't really have any tools available to create matches with the people inside the draft pad if you if you're not talking to them separately. I think we're, we're we're discussing and trying to figure out how best to sort that out. We might introduce pairings into draft fab or there might just be a chat function so you can talk to the people in your pod. But um but at the moment, yeah, you probably probably want to be on Discord just so you can uh, chat with people. But given that you're trying to organize the matches, um we just go ahead and click create game. Cool. Um, and what that will do is we'll open up a new tab with... Nice. And there's your deck. With, there is your deck. And with all the cards. And then obviously you'll just then, you can just go copy invite link and send that over to the opponent on your Discord and they will get their decks. And... So if you click on the copy link... Yeah. And then if you go back to draft fab and uh, if you are the person joining the game, click join game. Yeah. And you just paste the link in there. There you go. I just joined, we'll join. <laughs> joined my own game. Having a little bit of a solo session, are you, Hamish? Oh, man. <laughs> I actually could, actually. I don't know how this would work. But, um, but yeah, so it will, it, will, um, it will handle bringing the whole deck over and, and um, you can just go ahead and play it in Telesha. 
Nice. Um, if Tether Shell is not your thing, uh, if you go back to Draft Fab, um, yeah. There's also you can click anywhere and that will close. Yeah. Um, if you you can click on the export to TTS yeah. button, and what this does is it creates a a import string, and then in TTS, uh, there's the on the side there's like the um, yeah, panels we've... for importing cards. So you can just paste the string in there and click the card button, and it will import the entire deck into TTS, and you can actually play the games in TTS as well. That's that. To be honest, that's the way we. Um... No, when we were when we were jamming this up last year with Tales of Aria, that was like the yeah, main way. Telashar Tele didn't exist last year. Oh so. no, sorry. Um, on yeah. Tabletop Simulator, that was the yeah. main way we did it, and it worked just fine. And then even now, this is like the first time I've seen this work with Telashar, and man, that's smooth, yeah. really big, easy. Big, big shout out to the Telashar guys. So they they I've been chatting them to them for the last couple of weeks, and we uh we got the the integration going so that they're able to handle the import strings and we just be able to send the games over there so hopefully it, it, it makes it a lot more simpler just to play some games and uh do a draft and play some games yeah oh man so i, I i've known that this website has been going for a little while i haven't du- i haven't jumped on it for a little bit and i've just jumped back on it now and even now i'm just like back to being so excited trying to do some drafting again but this this should, this is uh, obviously a passion project. Mark is running this all himself. We he's also, we've got some tabs with Pat one Pat one pick one generator and so on. That's currently just still under. These are all you're all roadmap. I've I've got I've got hopes and dreams, Hamish. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few there's a few quality of life things I want to do in the drafting. I want to get bring back the timer and maybe do some do some. Uh, simple pairings just so you uh it's all handled for you yeah. um i definitely want to do a pack one pick one generator using the same pack building engine that i've got um i think people people always want to do a pack one pick one yeah um uprising is a bit of a weird set for pack one pick one because the uh the mindset is is there a good fire card yeah no <laughs> okay have a look somewhere else yeah but um but uh, it's always relevant. Pack one, pick one's always is an important thing to have. No, oh, absolutely. So just so just again, jump on to www.draftfab.com, and then it is you go on Discord, get seven of your friends over, create a draft, and once you've created the draft, you can um, how how do you send the link over to invite you other people? Just- I will actually change update because I noticed this, but we probably need a, a button to press. But you can just copy and paste the URL. If you just copy that and send it to your friends, they can then join. Yeah. So if you were, you were to send that to me now, I could I could join the game. Oh, sweet. So that's and that's it. And then once you start seeing the, this fill up, it, it's all good. And remember, start game and enjoy drafting. What's, what's with all these blaze headlongs? I... <laughs> There's always a blaze headlong. So yeah, and. That's that's it. That's that's basically it. This is this. I hope this has been an amazing uh, or or a very helpful uh, showcase of this new amazing website. Uh, thank you so much, Mark, for making this. It's been uh, it's been exciting and uh, very enjoyable. Just watching this uh, grow from what it was from tell ta- from Tales of Aria to now. And uh, are you going to be going to Worlds? I am going to be going to Worlds. Feel free to come and say hi. Um, seeing as I've spent so long making a draft website, I'd hope that I'll do better than, than 3-3 in the draft format, but we'll wait and see. <laughs> you need to get on your website, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need to do some practice. Yeah, that's um, it. But no, I will be at Worlds. Um, excited for Dynasty. I'm um, excited to see what comes out of it. Excited for the next draft set. We're always excited for draft sets. Um, uh, I'll hopefully be able to get a few more of the features that I want to get implemented done before the next draft set rolls around, and, and um, it'll be shiny and new uh, for that set. So, yeah, looking forward to the future. Obviously, as well, um, if anyone wants to help and support Mark when there are obviously new draft sets come around, um, all, all, all information about... Um, you know, pack compositions and everything. Um, just the, the more info that Mark can get, the better. Um, you have a Twitter account. 
I have a I have a Tweetle account, but uh, it's it's not very active. I'm I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get all my socials up on this website so people can tweet at me. Yeah. Uh, through it through um the link on this website, and um I'm looking at getting a Discord set up as well so people can use the Discord to arrange games or report issues or just let me know about pack conversation uh, compositions or or whatever they need to do to get in touch. So yeah. Um. In the next couple of days, that should, hopefully by, before this video goes up, that will all be available. We'll if, find out soon. If it, we'll, we'll get the uh, the links all down below. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. You, as you can probably tell, um, we, like we said, we started this um, whole thing up, but we got two very chilled out dudes. You can could you could you imagine that these two like yeah we'll, we'll get it we'll get there in time. Uh, could you imagine missing a call? Us missing should a call. Right. Yeah, should be, be right. Should be right. What are the chances of you missing worlds, Hamish? Are you? We're, are we? We're not stopping in the same place, so we. I. I should be fine. It, <laughs> we just need to have someone that will give us a bit of urgency. So should be fine. Should be fine. Right. Should thank you fine. so much for taking part, Mark, and thank you everyone for jumping in. Been a pleasure. Thank you, Hamish. Shut up.